We have a lot of believers running around afraid of Satan and demons. Remember last week, we talked, we talked about we, us being in a war, right? We're in a war. We wake up every day, and we're in a battle. Mm -hmm. But if we don't realize that he's already defeated, we have, we have the video script, just like with a football game. We know, okay, the game has already been won, but we getting worried because somebody fumbled the ball like we don't know who won at the end, <laughs> right? So we, we spend this energy, this enormous amount of energy, Worrying about what Satan's doing because we're looking at what we see in the front, but we we already know he defeated. We won. We're victors. The scripture says we are overcomers. We're conquerors through him, Jesus. Can somebody read John eight and forty four? Mm -hmm. uh, for you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a <clears throat> murderer from the beginning. He was also a he also hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Mm -hmm. Something just came to my mind. Don't know why, but so do you need to go see a psychic? You don't need to go see a psychic because they operate by what? Demonic spirits and familiar spirits. They ain't going to tell you the truth. They might give you a portion of truth, but are they telling you the full truth? No, because their father is the father of lies. So when people get caught up in that cycle of, oh, let me look at this horoscope, or, or what does my numerology report say? Or, you know, I went to this, you know, palm reader. They're foolish because they're expecting for this person to give them some truth, but they're the father of lies. And we know that the enemy uses the truth, a portion of truth, to grab your attention. So when they tell you, you know, your old grandpa, he had something on his side, you're like, how did that person know that? Well, these demons have been around before mankind was even invented. So they have studied, they know, they're around you and your family. They're how many eons years old? So they're giving you a portion of truth for you to be like, oh my goodness. Now you're hanging on to their every word, and now you've fallen into their deception. So now they're telling you, yeah, you know, you need to look out for this person who has a yellow shirt on today. <laughs> and that's, that's the person you're going to fall in love with. <laughs> Do you know that these entities that we cannot see actually set up stuff? They, they're just the way that they're speaking in your mind. They're speaking in somebody else's mind, and y'all might just... Having to cross paths, and now you're like, oh my goodness, I did, I ran into this person. <laughs> you see? It's an elaborate scheme of deception. So we can fall into this deception. He is not like God. He's, God is omnipresent. He's omniscient. Omnipresent meaning everywhere at all times. There's in the scripture, he said, if I'm in, in the depths of the ocean, he's there. <laughs> you know, anywhere I'm at, God is there. He's all-knowing. Satan doesn't know. He's, he, he doesn't know all things. But he can do some deductive reasoning. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and this is powerful too. If we get to it at the end of the day, I'm going to draw this in with AI technology and where we are with AI technology and how it's literally showing us how the demonic world actually works. Mm -hmm. But that's later if we get to that. He's not all-powerful. So we have no reason to fear. Remember the last